promise made, it's a promise that we can deliver on. Thank you. I'm sorry, can you stay there? I can. Don't mind, thank you. Right. You voted for the land tax that in a way that I can understand it? Okay. <laughs> what we've got, what we've got is that we have a um, system that has been put in place uh, in 2008. Right. Since that time, the bands, sorry, since that time, nothing has changed. Yeah. As a, the only thing that has changed is the real estate market has gone up. So what has happened over time is that it has this has served as a way of increasing city's revenues, but the benefits that it should have been giving to new home buyers has been getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So what we're doing is that we are putting in um, uh, inflationary bands on both the rebates and both and on the on the on the bands. And so now what happens is that as um, home inflation takes uh, happens year to year to year, those um, people are not being um, penalized by uh, by inflation. So, are you reducing the land transfer tax? Are you tying the, we, it to inflation? We, we are tying the bands to inflation. What's a ban? I'm sorry. We are we are tying the taxes to inflation. So as a result, as inflation creeps up, if, as the value of a house or a condominium creeps up, people are not going to be paying more taxes. So if the land transfer tax is 10%, that the, 10% today on a $100,000 home is 10000 and the same home in 10 years, that's worth $200,000. i am I'm sorry, so let me, let, let's, let's try again. There's a rebate. That yeah. rebate has stayed since day one. For first time home buyers. For first time home buyers. Okay. Right? Uh, oh, $3,250. That's not increased. Um, it is set so that it is the, there is little or no land transfer tax for a home that uh, was at one time the average home price of $400,000. So That's what, changed. Four hundred. Four hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so first-time home buyers get a three thousand two hundred dollar rebate on city land transfer tax, regardless of what the place costs. That's correct. And you're saying that because home price prices are going up, that number is becoming less and less amount of what the average. Yes, and the way the system is set up, it cuts very quickly and very deep. So as a result, um, all of the projections the city has made with respect to um, uh, taxes have gone out the window and new home buyers are, instead of being rebated, are paying more and more. And so what we're saying is that what we have to do is, uh, is apply inflation to the bands. To the rebate. To the rebate and to the tax rates because the tax rates are set at different um, uh, home price levels so that they're so that people aren't paying more for less house so I get the rebate part the actual tax you're changing as well the tax rates of half a percent uh, going up to two percent will remain however what happened is that they were set at beginning um, at a certain value That's the band. And those are the bands. And what's happened is that as the house prices have gone up, people 
people buying the average house instead of being rebated end up paying um, uh, two, three, up to eleven thousand dollars. And so what we're saying is that that's wrong. It needs it needs um, it needs changing. It needs to change the inflation. So this is basically the Toronto housing market is crazy right now, and it's not word. it's not adjusting in the way. It's making the tax more expensive, but as well, it has not been, the, the taxes have not changed over time. The, the, the federal government, the provincial government changes the income tax every couple of years right. to make sure that it's fair and adjusts, right. right? The city's not done that. Um, council put in the tax in 2008 and has not made any changes since that time. Okay, so if I, so a good way to phrase this, do you understand? Yeah, yeah okay, you can explain it later, but, oh uh, yeah, the housing market prices are going, are, are so expensive yes. now, compared to when they were in 2008, that this percentage of the land transfer tax is going to be, is more of a burden. Yes. Prices are going up faster than people's yes. prices are going up. Yes. Is that and, yes. Okay. And, 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 and council has not made any changes okay. since that time. And re presumably, if that is the case, then revenue flowing to the coffers of the city of Toronto from the land transfer tax has also increased over time. 76%. Okay, so what you're saying now is that you're going to trim this or adjust it in order to make it fairer and help people at the lower end of the market. That's going to cost the city of Toronto some tax revenue. In foregone revenue in the future. How much? That's what we're, that's what we're still uh, working on. We don't think it's going to be... Um, uh, uh, a large, large quantum. Uh, what we think it's going to be is it's going to be uh, foregone tax revenue in the future, and we will, we will be costing that. We had some simulations run, and uh, we will, and uh, they will be uh, provided uh, later on in the campaign. Well, I have to ask this, David. Uh, the the budget chief, De Giorgio, in uh, one of the budget meetings, actually gave a projection twenty years out uh, that. The LTT may actually, because of the changing nature of the market and the city's income, that it might actually be 30 to 40 percent of the property tax portion income that the city will get. So that's and, and again, it's if we do it consciously, that's one thing. If it's just bracket creep and not done with any uh, policy de uh, decision behind it, it's very much another. What this is, is this is taxation by default is what we're having right now. And what we're trying to say is let's put inflationary changes on it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if we need to change the brackets, if we need to change the exemption, let's make those decisions. But let not people default into it because what's happening now is that it's 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 burdening those at the lower end of the market. Okay, understood. Does your proposal then put pressure on the provincial LTT because they have the LTT as well uh, to also change to what you what you've outlined? Well, I don't know if they are changing their standards with with, with inflation as, as as I'm proposing. But what we need to do is that we need to make sure that it stays fair for more people. Um, I think I have a, an understanding of what this is about now. Um, I do have to ask, so you're running a very serious uh, campaign for mayor, complex ideas that dumb reporters can't get right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm embarrassed. Yeah, yes, no, yes, no, 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 I, I'm saying that as a uh, knock on myself. And you have, you know, how, how is it like trying to do that when the rest, so many of the media right now are kind of gathered around watching you can see if this magician shows up and, and talks to Mayor Ford and they kind of kind of compete with that circus. <laughs> What's that like? I mean, you're trying to talk about complex ideas. Um, well, can I compete with the magician? Well, I don't think that people want to elect a, a, a magician, right? Uh, what we've got is we've got policies that are going to work. Uh, we have, we're talking about $350 million, we're talking about uh, a critical industry, and um, it's, it, it's, it's incumbent on, on uh, our, the, the public to, to, to have an interest. But at, this, but at the same time, for, for, for us, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be saying, hey listen, it's not a joke. You know, we're, we're talking about something that new home buyers are, are struggling with. And we are bringing forward some ideas, and and as I said before, the the fact that the decisions weren't made during this this council it impacted me. It was a promise made and a promise broken. 
And I, I promise in the article I will lay this all out. But I do want to come at you one more time. I mean, how do you run a, can a serious campaign right now in this environment? Like, can you, what is you, what do, when you guys sit around the table, like, what are you talking about? Like, what do we do? If, but I, I understand yeah. that you're facing with the media. Yeah. I will tell you the reception is very different at the door. Okay. Because people recognize that we are bringing forward a, an I, ideas that will impact them for the better uh, in their daily lives. And when I knock on the door, um, I can't tell you the number of people who have said, anybody but four. And we have to stop the, the, uh, the, 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 the circus that's going on. And it's, it's early days, but if there is that sort of impact at the door right now, um, then actually it, 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 it bodes well. You know, the other thing too I'll say is that I, I was asked yesterday uh, about the comments about um, uh, disaster. I mentioned that uh, earlier on. And uh, it's, it's if... Sorry, which disaster? Because I, I was a disaster for some reason. I have no idea. Oh, oh there's a line from your right? opponent. And, yeah, and, 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 and my comment is, you know, I must be doing something right if what he has to do is schedule his um, uh, meeting at the Economic Club at the same time as mine, uh, schedule a magic magician to meet this, and to make personal comments out of the blue. You know, game on, no problem. And as a matter of fact, um, I would rather, in, in the public realm, uh, be compared with delivering a land transfer tax reform against the against the magician show any day of the week, right? And if he wants to bring a magician to the next debate, that's okay too. Thanks, David. All right. Thank you. Don't forget this. I won't. <laughs>